to uh, DrillinRadio.com, a beautiful downtown Whittier, California. This is uh, the last day of the year, of course. Uh, and I'm Fred Blanchard, host of Adrenaline Motorsports. A uh, couple of things I wanted to touch on. Uh, there's some pretty neat articles out in some of the publications that I've had an opportunity to read here. Seems I have been kind of out of commission. I was able to do some of that. Uh, uh, if you want to get into... Uh, uh, going to your uh, favorite uh, newsstand and uh, where they sell a lot of different publications, uh, you may want to look some of these things up. Uh, they have uh, articles that are you know, pretty cool, I would say. Uh, they have one in uh, the Hot Rod magazine here. I'm looking at uh, uh, several neat things. They have the shootout. Uh, uh, well, actually, it's a cylinder head test for the LS uh, small block Chevy. And uh, they've done a lot of different motor sizes, and they've done uh, they've had an ongoing uh, program. As a matter of fact, uh, what they've done is that they've gone and uh, brought uh, put a various cubic inch size motors on dynamometers, and then gone ahead and taken the manufacturer's preferred cylinder head to put on that for uh, I don't know if it's a competition or not, but it's a test for each of the manufacturer's heads, and they all seem to be pretty good. And uh, but the point was, I just wanted to know if you. Uh, get a chance and you're thinking about building something and uh, you're looking forward uh, to uh, uh, picking that special cylinder head for that LS uh, engine that you're going to be building because that seems to be the, 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 the small block of choice here. Most recently there's been so many articles written on it. Um, but uh, I'm not going to leave out uh, what was not in this, this test because it's different and uh, it is the uh, the Hemi head for the LS uh, small block Chevrolet uh, designed by the, uh, Nick Arias Jr. Racing Components. Uh, this is, I don't think, is even in the same class. I, just to be quite frank with you, um, we've, uh, we're into the horsepower testing now, and what I've read in some of these publications, they're into the 550 horsepower, and uh, but it's unfair to compare the two because uh, the Arias component just in... Uh, its initial preliminary test is already up at 680 horsepower, not even, uh, so it's unfair to, to compare the two, but uh, uh, that's another option that you may want to consider, but it takes more than just a head kit. Uh, you, you can't just stick uh, uh, the heads on there. You've got to get additional components to add to that, and so, but uh, that's another uh, bit of information, uh, but uh, the test is in the Hot Rod magazine. You want to have a look at that, and uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty cool thing. And uh, also some other uh, good articles in there. Uh, they had an article on the uh, Nostalgia Funny Car Champion, which uh, is not a guy. It's a woman, and uh, she's done a heck of a job. She drives for Pluger and Geiger, and uh, uh, she's uh, got the points championship, and uh, and she's done a heck of a job. And uh, there, that's our, that article's in there as well. So you may want to pick up a copy of the Hot Rod magazine and, and move forward with that, and uh, there'll be some good reading for the the holiday, the weekend, the whole thing. And uh, that's that's one of the things that I came across that you you might want to look at. Um, another another magazine that uh, I've taken a liking to is, of course, uh, uh, Drag Racer magazine. I, in fact, the matter is, I sub I have a subscription to that, and there's some pretty cool things, but it it it. It goes back. It goes back from the the days when I was involved with racing. Of course, uh, I was more of the low budget side of the deal, but uh, we did uh, compete and we did well. And uh, you know, we try hard and uh, and uh, we move forward with what we try to do. And uh, but we were a local racer. We didn't travel as much as a lot of these other guys did. But there's a real cool article on. Uh, uh, the spaghetti benders and all the cars that they had and the and the guys that were involved with that with like Vince Rossi and and Ronnie Rapp was who I knew I knew a little knew knew Vince but not as well as I knew Ronnie of course uh, Gary Gavlich was the driver of that car but uh, that was the days of uh, the uh, true front engine car and not as it is today with all the modern parts of course uh, but uh, you know they had a KB engine in there and uh, they were a hard runner. I mean, they, they, but the article there itself, it, it, talks, it talks about the whole thing. I mean, everything that they had, and uh, they had even a, 
a uniquely designed dragster rear engine deal was called the wedge and it was it in itself was quite unique it was a, an experimental type thing and very revolutionary uh, for the for the time so that's something if you want to uh, uh again uh, drag racer magazine uh, if you want to have a peek at that uh uh, I'm sure that it's, uh, it's out there, and uh, you want to have a look at that. And I, I thought perhaps you might want to consider talking about it or just reading about that. 